It's Bonnie. Happy Thursday. I am back. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is one of my favorite videos to do for semi-annual sale at Bath & Body Works. What not to buy. I need this video for myself. I do because I've been going a little crazy lately on Bath & Body Works. I have a lot of product and I need to not only do the video, but then I need to watch the video again to remind myself to set a budget. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm going to talk about winter semi-annual sale, which starts at Bath & Body Works on December 26th, the day after Christmas. I feel like the winter semi-annual sale is so rushed because we're just coming off of the holidays. And I mean, it's literally the day after Christmas and it's kind of like our, it's our Super Bowl. <laughs> it's our happy time, it's our Christmas and it's easy to go overboard and then all of a sudden, like January, February, tropical, summer, spring, Mother's Day, Easter, all rolls in. And then you've kind of overbought in the winter. So we're going to talk about how to do this. First up, set a budget for December semi-annual sale. You'll thank yourself if you stay within that budget. It doesn't matter what the budget is. It could be $10.00. It could be $700. It all depends on, you know, your personal consumption, how big your family is, if you're a collector, if you're a YouTuber. Everyone's budget is going to be completely different, and that's okay. It doesn't matter what your budget is, because you know what? You can get a lot of product at semi-annual sale for 10 bucks. So if you got 10 bucks and you want to set a $10 budget, go for it. That is perfectly fine. So my budget for semi-annual sale, I'm writing myself in this year. I really am. My budget for semi-annual sale, all told, I'm going to do this for $100 this year. I am. I'm going to, I'm just, I'm, I set a budget. I've got so much stuff right now that I need to use. Um, I'm going to try to come in under budget. Actually, I went a little crazy for candle day this year, which I'm happy about, but I'm pretty much stocked up now on candles. I'm looking for stuff that I can review for you guys. I still have a ton of candle day candles over here. I've got like a pile of them that I've been burning and reviewing at the same time. But that's my budget for semi-annual sale, $100. And I can get a lot. I'm going to try and figure out like all through the sale, I'm going to keep a tally and show you guys what I got for $100. So once your budget is set, make sure that you try and gather up any coupons. Now there is a 10 off 40 coupon circulating around here. I'm going to try and use these before semi-annual sale because as a reviewer, thank you so much for everyone sending me coupons. These help me so much because what I do is I'll oftentimes um, spend extra before the sale so I can get the stuff uh, to review, like Meet Me in Miami. Um, luckily, I had App Rewards. I have a ton of App Rewards. We're going to talk about why you shouldn't use your App Rewards at semi-annual sale, too. Save those for later. So um, get your coupons out because you can save a lot of money. I mean, 10 out of 40, um, that's going to that's gonna give you a lot more extra product. So right now... Um, app rewards. Let me see how many app rewards I have. I have a lot from uh, Candle Day. I have, um, what do I have? I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight of them. And I used a lot um, because I got like Meet Me in Miami. Meet Me in Miami. <laughs> I can't say that. Uh, let's see. Um, these don't expire until February 9th, it looks like. And then some go into March. So I got a long time to use those app rewards. I'm going to use those on the new products that come out in like the first and second week of January. Never use your app rewards during semi-annual sale. You're just wasting your money. You want to get that full product price. So semi-annual sale, what's going to happen is you're going to have a lot of set price products. Like when you walk in that Y2K collection, Endless Weekend, um, Lovely Dreamer is like going to be, you know, they'll be around, meet me in Miami for semi-annual sale. I don't know if that's going to be part of the set price. 
Uh, Denim and Daisies is supposed to be part of that collection. If the set price is $4.95, that is the time to scoop it up. $3.95 or $4.95. Sometimes they do $3.95. Scoop it up then. Don't wait for it to go up because they'll raise the price on you a little bit. Then they'll bring it down. Then they'll bring it up. You want to get the lowest price. And we'll talk about that once the prices start to release. Any other body care? Kenny Rogers. No one to hold them. Semi-annual sale is not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's a, you got to get your running shoes on for this because you don't want to buy the first day and blow your budget, then all of a sudden you got nothing left. More than likely, holiday stuff is only going to be 50% off as the sale rolls out. Right now, it's 50% off now. Buy three, get three. <laughs> that is not a good price on a holiday body care. You want to wait until this goes down to 75% off. Then, when it goes down to 75% off, you want to think about if you really need 10 winter candy apples in January because you know this is coming back next year. So, if this is your Desert Island set, you can't live without it, you're going to want to buy this and make, you know, last it through the year and make, make sure you count the year from, okay, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September... Uh, that's not that long. That's like nine months worth. <laughs> so you don't want to buy 12 months worth. You only want to buy nine months worth of winter candy apple because it's coming back. So kind of think about that as you're purchasing your Christmas products. Now, Jolly Gingerbread Village probably won't be back. If you cannot live without that timber, I would get enough to last you reasonably until you get sick of timber. <laughs> But again, more scents are going to be rolling in. So I always say don't overbuy your Christmas scents because Christmas is going to roll around a lot faster than you realize. Also, you're probably going to get sick of Christmas sometime in January and you're going to be all excited about the new stuff. So any of the other stuff like the Y2K collection, the Lovely Dreamer. Now, Lovely Dreamer has not been back in a while. If you love this scent, you know, get a couple sets. Hopefully at the $3.95 price point, use your coupon. But again, don't overbuy. I always stress don't overbuy body care for semi-annual sale because there's a lot rolling in. The other thing not to buy at semi-annual sale is soap. Oh my gosh, I have so much Christmas soap right now, which I'm happy about. I'll use it all up, but I will not buy one soap. I don't care if it's $1.67, which it can go down to. I am loaded up on soap. I am going to get that cotton candy grape, though. If that comes out for semi-annual sale, I'm getting cotton candy grape. Anything that's, like, springy, that's okay. But I would not buy any Christmas soap unless you want to be using Christmas soap in February and March. Because there's always new soap rolling in. So I always say no to the soap. Another product that I usually say no to for semi-annual sale... Any of, like, the scrubs that are, like, the $19, $20 range, because you should have bought those on Body Care Day. So, let me do the math for you guys. Okay, if you have a scrub for, like, $20.95 or a product, minus 75%, that's going to take you down to $5.23. Body Care Day was just $4.95. Wait it out, because you know we're having another you know, set price sale, uh, body care day. Hopefully you bought all of the scrub you need for Christmas and, you know, into the new year on body care day because that was the time to buy that. Don't buy pocket bags. They're not worth it for semi-annual sale. They're not going to be today. Buy your pocket bags today. They're a dollar, um, hand cream, any of that stuff. Now, a lot of people ask me, should I buy the candle, you know, the candle holders the train, you know, any of that. I'm going to put a screenshot of right here because I have a feeling I know it's coming for semi-annual sale. This was my store two days ago. Notice how many of the candle holders they have. That's a lot of candle holders. So they're going to try and do 50% off. Then they're probably going to go to 60% off. Hold off to 75% off on Christmas because who wants it 
after Christmas. You can hold on to it for a year, but gosh darn it, you want to get this at 75% off because you know what? It's the day after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you're not every store it's funny that's one thing that kind of cracks me up about bath and body works and they definitely do a good job about not reducing their prices below 75 percent i gotta say people are addicted to bath and body works so you know how target if you go to the back of the store on the wall they've got all of their like christmas stuff for 90 percent off i really wish bath and body works would do a 90% off sale. Because you know what? That would be exciting. I have a feeling because it's so collectible and it's shown up on Macari and people are selling it for a lot. They probably know this. So they don't like reduce the price that low. But that'd be really cool. I think I think that would be neat if we could do 90% off on a lot of the Christmas stuff. You know, like you walk into Michael's, you go to Joanne, everything's 90% off. <laughs> Except for Bath and Body Works. I don't think I've ever seen more than 75% off. So anyway, 75% off. If you want to hang on to this stuff until next year, if you have a place to store it, it's not a bad deal. But kind of keep that in mind. Okay. Um, oh, I got to grab one of these. Okay, hold on a second, you guys. I'm going to grab one. Laundry detergent, which by the way, I still have to use. I have been so busy. I gotta, like, I'm taking this downstairs right now. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Um, this should be, it smells so good, by the way. I hope it works. I don't know. Chris said it was really, uh, this guy shops really light, but I kind of hope it has a light scent at least. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Um, that should absolutely be 75% off after Christmas. I don't understand. Like, anything that says Vanilla Bean Noel, Twisted Peppermint, or Winter Candy Apple needs to be at least 75%, in my opinion. Hold off, because th what happens as we, like, roll through semi-annual sale is the price gets lower, and you're going to want to wait it out, wait it out. Candles. Everyone asks me, should I buy candles during semi-annual sale? Um, only if they're 75% off. Don't buy them. If they're 50% off, that's a bad deal. Don't buy them at the $10.95 unless you really, really want the set. Like, for example, um, Paris Cafe. I know a lot of people love this one, including me, but it smells good. Um, hopefully you bought enough on Candle Day at $9.95 because if they're $10.95, you're paying a dollar more. But a lot of times Bath & Body Works towards the end of semi-annual sale, um, the candles will be 75% off. If they get a huge stash, they might start off at 75% off at some stores. It's kind of hit or miss. So you kind of got to go to different stores. Some people say they never see 75% off candles ever at their store, which is interesting. Other people, um, they have piles of 75% off candles, especially if you buy like an outlet or you have a bigger volume store. But 75% off a candle is gonna take you, like if we do 26.95 minus 75, oops, 26.95 minus 75. Why is my calculator doing this? I'm going too fast. Minus 75%, uh, 673. Yeah, I knew that. So that's a deal, especially if you have a coupon. Um, you can get some nice scents, especially if they're not Christmas. Because once again, we are at December 26th. Christmas is over. Now, your scents like winter. A lot of people like to burn those through January. Um, but for the most part, a lot of places, like I was, where was I the other day? Um, oh, uh, BJ's and Sam's Club already have like their Valentine's Day M&Ms. Um, I'm seeing people posting TJ Maxx, Marshalls, their Valentine's Day stuff is already rolling in. It's kind of amazing to me like how quickly, I always joke around, I feel like around like December 12th, all of a sudden everyone's just like, I'm tired of Christmas stuff, which is sad because when I was young, we didn't even put the Christmas tree up until like December 20th. Now I've got my tree up like in October, but um, I, I'm still definitely feeling Christmas. I'm excited about Christmas, but retail wise, um, I tend to turn off the retail part of it. 
around now and you know I'm kind of thinking spring in my head but then I get excited about like the fun part of Christmas um like buying presents online for people because I don't like the mall wrapping making cookies and doing all the fun holiday stuff but I definitely feel like you know by December 26 we're all kind of thinking especially if you live in the northeast with the snow we like that spring stuff rolling in because it makes us feel good um, when it starts snowing a lot. A couple people like snow. As I got older, I was like, eh, snow's not too exciting anymore. So um, think about that. But anyway, um, I like to kind of do this video just to kind of rein us all in a little bit and say, while semi-annual sale is amazing, I love it. It's fun. It's a treasure hunt. You also kind of have to think to yourself, how do I stay on budget what do I want as spring starts to roll in? How much Christmas do I want to stock up on? And, um, you know, kind of keep a balance is what I like to do for semi-annual sale. Actually, um, what's interesting is the summer semi-annual sale, I think a lot of people um, enjoy a little bit more because the spring stuff is on sale and a lot of people are using the spring stuff into summer. The the change, of, the change of seasons isn't so extreme from spring to summer as it is from, like, Christmas into, um, you know, January and February when we're kind of wanting a little bit of floral in our life. Um, so anyway, oh, yeah, I can't believe some annuals coming up so fast. It's just like <laughs> every six months. <laughs> so anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I enjoy talking about all of this kind of stuff. If you have any questions about semi-annual sale, um, I haven't been answering as many comments lately because I've been so busy with all of this, but I do try and read everything, heart it, and um, I'm going to try and read the comments on this one if, you know, there's any questions about um, what's going on out there for the sale. Anyway, have an awesome evening, you guys. I think I'm actually going to go wrap a couple Christmas presents tonight. I like to keep on top of things. Keep it going. Thank you so much for all the Christmas cards coming in. I've got those hung up. They're beautiful. And, um... I will see you tomorrow. I'm not sure what's going on at Bath and Body Works tomorrow. I think I heard rumors of a single sale coming up, maybe. I don't know. We got something. Oh, and then Super Saturday is coming up this weekend. Um, the Eucalyptus Spearmint and the Champagne Toast Box. I don't think I want to be anywhere near the mall, though, um, on Saturday. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>